Hey everyone, this is what to do if you get your songs for the weekend and you happen to have a song in the wrong key. Hopefully this never happens, but we are human and mistakes do happen as we try to juggle multiple campuses. And so here's the thing is normally we would go to fire a song and say we're supposed to be in the key of G, right? And we go, we press play. I think that sounds off. Okay, yeah, that's something's not right there. We were like a little bit off. And so everyone's sitting there wondering what's going on. What you're going to do is you're going to click on this little circle to open up the song. We're going to scroll down. And in, for the example, I have the original song file on. Normally this would be off. But then what you're going to do is you're going to hover over the file. And if you scroll to the bottom down here, you're going to see it again when I hover over a file. Because you see all those letters and names. And if you keep scrolling your view, you see Christ be magnified. A, 72 BPM. A is the original key. So again, we, were, we wanted to be in G, but maybe the person overshot the numbers or it was F at another campus. So either way, A to G is just minus two. So what we're gonna do is click on our first song, not drums, not guide or anything, and click all the way down through here. And we're gonna change the transpose down here on your left to minus two. Now we're gonna to come to track sounds and open our track sounds. Again, the reason I do this separate is because I don't wanna select through percussion instruments. These do not change. We're gonna select all of the rest of our track sounds. Sometimes this is 20 different things, sometimes it's three, and all the way through our choir and vocal sounds and do the same thing, minus two. Now we press play. It should be good. Yeah, sounds right on. So that's the way to check it, and hopefully, again, that never happens, but if it does, hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please let us know.